Welcome back, everyone, to It's After Hour, only on uh, the After Hours YouTube channel. Now, join me on the line, this young lady here. Well, you, if you're on Twitter, if you're on many vids, if you're on basically any uh, tube site, she is all over the place. She's hustling and bustling, uh, seducing men, women, and couples all over the place. I give the blonde, busty bombshell herself. I give you Cameron Sky. Uh, Cameron, let's start off here. You and I have talked in the past before, so let's talk about this past year and just uh, how tough was it shooting? Because you are a, a real milk. You have kids. So okay. when when COVID hit, that means everything got shut down. That means you can't shoot now because kids can't leave the house. How much have you been driven crazy after like the first month? Of like, okay, I need to leave the house. Kids, you really need to leave the house. I don't care where you go. We, just, we need to leave. Um, actually, it's usually just been me leaving. <laughs> uh, my kids are teenagers, and so um, they can do their own thing, and I am the one usually leaving. So shooting was like my total outlet this last year. Um, I have a couple people that I, you know, just worked with through most of the year, and so like beyond that, I was pretty quarantined living here in California, but. Um, shooting believe it or not I think I started to get more and more busy this last year just because what else was there to do besides go shoot <laughs> how tough was it shooting though in terms of you know as, we, as I've talked to everybody whether it's Siren DeMare whether it's Seek of Black even Andy Ray but you know, the whole thing was like okay you go from doing tests just you know your usual STD tests and now it's like oh yeah I get a COVID test also which means you know, it's going to be 24 hours in advance, you know, you know self-quarantine. How much did it affect shooting in terms of, you know, certain people you couldn't shoot with or certain people couldn't make it up? And it was always a pain, you know, literally, you know, you know, doing all this on the seat of your plant pants so that everybody's tests wouldn't expire. Yeah, you know, it definitely made it more complicated. Uh, the shooting, like, itself I would say wasn't so different, like being on set, everybody got tested for COVID. So the most complicated thing was everybody having to be COVID tested and coordinating that sort of thing. Um, but I also think it made it, it made me pretty cautious about who I was shooting with. So like I was making sure to quarantine as much as possible and only was shooting with people who were also quarantined as much as possible. And so that keeps it a little safer as, as well as we could predict. Was there anybody that you wanted to shoot with that you couldn't simply because you just couldn't get out? I mean, as you said, it's, you know, you, you people have to fly out. So, you know, people you were looking at in New York, they couldn't travel to California as much or people that, you want to shoot probably in Florida. You can get out there as much. I mean, were, were there, was there ever an, ex you know, an example of you just going, man, I would love to shoot with this person, but just, we can't travel. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's an interesting question. I didn't, I didn't experience that too much. Um, but again, I was only shooting with a few people. So it wasn't like I was trying to shoot with everybody. Like, I feel like that part slowed down where since the beginning of the year and since everybody's been like opening up a little bit more, I've been able to travel more and just start meeting and shooting all of the people that I want to shoot with now. All right. So we, we have heard stories from Andy Ray about how sometimes you shoot with certain guys and they just don't behave. How do you get that to happen? I mean, how do you get it so that when you're shooting with, especially male talent, but they understand this is work. This isn't, you know, oh yeah, we're going to have, we're going to have, you know, a toward filled affair. It's going to be just humping as soon as you walk in the door, but they understand that like, this is a shoot. I mean, you know, I'm paying you to do this here. You got you to gotta be a professional. God damn it. This is, this is a professional business. Uh-huh. You know, I haven't had any personal experience where, um, like, I have felt like it wasn't professional <laughs> with the male talent I've been working with. I've been so lucky to shoot with amazing male talent. 
And so I haven't personally experienced anything that felt like it was crossing my boundaries or that I wasn't okay with. Usually a, a shoot is more like you show up, you show each other your tests and your paper, you spill out paperwork and you chat and get to know each other a little bit and then everybody's ready to shoot. So <laughs> there's not really time for inappropriate behavior, but again, I've been really lucky that that's been my experience. Now, you said that you were you late, later on in the year, you were shooting with more people you wanted to shoot with. So who are some of the people that you got to shoot with this year, but you had your eye on? Give me some people that it finally turned, you know, you finally made it happen, but it finally got together and you guys went, all right, let's do this beautiful thing. Oh my God. Um, I, well, I finally fucked Richard Mann. We didn't have a chance to shoot on camera together. So <laughs> shout out to you. We got to shoot again. But um, I I was able to shoot with Mr. Nuts, who he and I had been chatting like two AVNs ago about shooting. And then I got booked for another page shoot so we couldn't trade content together. Um, and then I'm trying to think. Oh, I finally got to shoot with Logan Long. He and I have been wanting to shoot for like a year. <laughs> Um, just think it's huge and amazing. That was a lot of fun. Um, gosh, I, like I'm really just shooting with anybody and everybody that comes my way right now. So I'm just enjoying everybody. So what do you, I mean, so what do you want to do now? I mean, cause there's always a challenge when you set yourself like, I'm going to shoot this person. I'm going to shoot with that person. So what's the new challenge? I mean, is there a certain scene you want to do? Is there a certain thing? Is there a um, website actually, you want to create? Yes. <laughs> I'm actually working on a brand new website. Um, it'll be in addition to my own like personal shooting. Um, it's going to be the porn star experience. And I am helping like merge the gap between people who are just used to shooting like only fan style with um, shooting real porn style. So um, it's kind of a really cool place. I feel like I have some great connections between both worlds and it's gonna be a really fun thing. And hopefully we'll be able to include like some fan experiences too with like giving a porn star experience to fans with like fuck a fan and everything. How much does it mean for you getting this? Because knowing you, this took, this took a lot of work. This whole thing, because you're you're shooting content, you're getting people together to you know edit, uh, put clips up, do the web design, set all this stuff up. I mean, how much of this is that sort of like? I know that you as, you as a mom are looking, going, you're rolling your eyes, but how much of this is like you know, your your, your second baby? Almost like you know, this is the new baby that has come along because you birthed it, you created it, and it, here it is, it's ready to go. It definitely feels like that. It feels like the, I, the idea for my porn star experience site has been generated just over shooting my own scenes, and so it's not only the porn star experience, but I'm but I'm launching my site, Cameron Sky Triple X.com this week <laughs> and so it's been really cool as i've been putting together all the content to launch my site um to see how i've grown over the years and also to see um like how much i've actually done and how much i've shot and so it does feel like this huge labor of love and i'm really excited about it it is like another child <laughs> When do you expect to have that moment where it just it, it overwhelms you? When you know, because as you said, this is everything you've done. You've worked your your butt off. You've done all this. When do you expect to have that moment where you're just sort of in nirvana because it's it's here, it's launched, it's ready to go, and you realize I did this, I, I built this, I've created this. I'm no longer just a porn star. I am now a business entrepreneur. 
Oh, I I actually have been envisioning what that will be like. And I really hope that it feels like flipping a switch. Like I'm going to push launch or activate <laughs> or go live. I don't know what the magic button is going to say, but I'm going to push that button and hopefully it will be like, like a scene on a movie where it's just like sale after sale after sale. And you're just like, oh my God, where are all these people coming from? This is amazing. <laughs> I'm just picturing where it's gonna feel. I hope that it will feel like flipping a switch and it's just like, oh, all of my hard work has paid off. And this is the success that I get to show for all of that work. So <laughs> we'll see soon. Now I gotta ask because you've mentioned all these guys you got to shoot with, and you, you've you've been you know romant you're romant you know romanticizing with Lee. Give me some women you want to shoot with that you haven't shot with yet. Now because as we said now that everybody's starting to get back into the groove of things, like give me some women that you've been looking at going, you know, I really want to play with this. She sort oh of my gets God. it. <laughs> you're asking the right question. I have so many women that I'm interested in shooting with and playing with right now. <laughs> Well, give me some people that like aren't on the radar because I'm guessing like Sarah J, Alora Jensen, uh, probably sure. not. Like, you know what? Those, those are... to me, like they're on the wish list. Though everybody's wish list. Give me some people that uh, we don't know about that you're going. Yeah, uh, I really want this. What are these kind? Of, what are these ladies? Well, I'm super excited. Like I just reached out a little bit to a new talent named London Rose in Vegas. And she's another hot milf. Um, and she had like this gorgeous redhead on her account. I can't even remember her name. I have to like go look at my Twitter again just to be sure. But like the two of them were hanging out on a boat, and I was like, fuck, I need to hang out with these beautiful women. <laughs> so London Rose is on my radar. I've got um, I just recently worked with Crystal Davis, and it was so fun to shoot with her. I can't wait to shoot with her again. Um, I'm looking at, I, I recently met um, Taylor Nicole and she's a little bit younger than me, but she's super sexy and hot. And I'm hoping that we can work together soon. Um, yeah, I, like, Right now, I'm totally in this exploration of women face. <laughs> I made um, Crystal Davis come in our scene together that we shot. And it was just like, oh my God, I've accomplished so much to make a woman come. So I'm out there trying to make more women come. <laughs> Is it easier working with older women? Because, and, and I say older, like, Kristen Dave, Crystal David, you know, Crystal Davis is not an old lady. I mean, she's in her thirties, but is it easier to work with people who are in their thirties, forties because they get it, they understand, they know what's going on, they know the woman's body, or do you like working with younger girls because you can be the teacher, you can be the one that sort of goes, well, we're gonna do this, uh -huh. do that, and they have it. It's like that little kid at Christmas goes, I didn't know you could do that. You know what? I think that there's like something in between that's not either of those options. For me, when I'm shooting, I'm all about like experiencing what's happening in the moment. And I like to shoot with people that I have chemistry with. And so to me, it's not about age or especially with another woman, it's not about like being a teacher or, or like, to me, it's more just like taking the lead and then being willing to follow the, like the flow of what's going on. So <laughs> for me, I love people of all ages. I love people younger than me because I love like the energy and like the youthfulness and like how exciting everything feels. And then I like the experience and kind of like the centeredness that comes with fucking people who are older so truly I just love to fuck and I think it's more about the chemistry than anything the more busy you get you know or let's say the more popular you get the more busy you get the more busy you get the more it, it takes away from stuff and 
how tough is it getting explained to people now, you know, that now, especially with new website coming up, uh-huh. that your time is now sort of, you know, spoken for? Because I'm guessing there's still a lot of friends you have who are not in the business or even your kids sometimes. Mm-hmm. And you gotta go, oh, we can't do this. I can't, you know, hang out at the beach. I can't, you know, can't go with dinner. I gotta be here. I gotta do editing. I gotta do, you know, I gotta do, you know, digital work on this site here. I gotta start contacting people. I gotta talk to my billing, you know, department here. How much tougher does it get sometimes explaining to everybody? Like, I've just, you know, I get you want to hang out. I get we have a pandemic, but my business didn't stop. It got more busy now, especially with the new baby. Yeah, you know, um, I'm always working to find balance. And right now, that's my main focus is trying to find the right balance for myself. Um, I feel like this year has given me a good chance to explore what it feels like to do things my way. And so I'm learning how to like set my own terms and that feels really nice. So like, because I'm able to say, look, (laughs) well, I had like a really busy week. I think I shot every day for six days straight or I know it was five days straight. <laughs> and I think it was six. Yeah. So I shot every day for six days straight. And after that week, I was so exhausted. And I had neglected some of the stuff on the back end. I had like put preparation for my site aside. And so I had to look at things and go, okay, how much shooting can I handle? <laughs> for me, it's like two days a week. I would love to be able to get fucked and shoot more nights just for fun but it is better for my balance and for my like situation at home to have certain nights that are for shooting and they feel like my nights and then um the rest of the time I'm focused on what's most important so that's what I try to keep in mind is just what's most important and taking care of myself in all of the ways that I can Last question for let you go. Sure. There's light at the end of the tunnel. As you said, there's you're gonna be going to Vegas. You're gonna be this convention that's going on mm-hmm. here, I guess, with uh subs and sluts as you call it, wherever it is. How excited are you about just, you know getting out to Vegas, you know, taking a trip? <laughs> you know, I forget about the sex. I mean, how excited are you now that you know there's light at the end of the tunnel that you can actually start traveling and meeting all the people that you enjoy but you couldn't meet or hang out with because well, this damn, you know, COVID lockdown screwed everything up. <laughs> For sure. You know, I am most excited by meeting new people and having new experiences. So that's the thing I'm looking forward to the most is the unknown, like going to an event, you never know who you're going to meet and what it's going to feel like to interact with those people. So that's the thing I'm looking forward to. And you know, I think about, like, I just like to be touched and worshiped and, like, (laughs) experience new sex with new people, and then also round twos and threes and fours with people, (laughs) you know, so it's just, it'll be a lot of fun to let loose and just feel like I'm not just shooting for, like, a site, but shooting for my own pleasure and enjoyment, too. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we are proud to have on the show. I give you the beautiful, gorgeous. I give you it's Cameron Sky. Uh, Cameron, before I let you go, uh, where can fans check you out of it? Like, what's the name of the website? What's the name of the many vids, the OnlyFans? Like, where can people hit you up and check you out at? Uh, my website that's launching is CameronSkyXXX.com. And then you can find me on both Twitter and Instagram at Cameron underscore Sky One. And I'm on many vids, Cameron Sky slash, or I'm sorry, it's Cameron Sky dot many vids.com or OnlyFans slash Cameron underscore Sky. <laughs> I can't believe I remember that all those. <laughs> Cameron Sky, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are proud to have her on the show. Uh, stay tuned, we'll. For more great interviews here coming up only on it is After Hours, only on the After Hours YouTube channel.